One of the most important things in Power World are passive skills, and they happen to be one of the things that are mostly overlooked. Today, we're going to be going over the best passive skills for everything. We're going to be talking about resource gathering, best passive skills for working, best passive skills for becoming OP, defensive for casting. So if you like how this sounds, let's jump right into the video. So let's start out with the first one, guys, which is going to be one of the main things you're going to want to learn early in the game, and that is resource gathering. The main one you want to look for is called Mining Foreman. This is going to increase 25% the mining efficiency so if you get a really good character that's able to mine rocks mine ore if you go to the base that i recommended you guys should definitely go to if you're able to put a couple of uh of you know units there to have this mining foreman you guys are going to be great because it's going to get everything you really need so mining foreman is really good especially it's going to increase that player efficiency really fast the next one you want to be looking for guys for mining is the following which is called login foreman this is going to increase 25 percent of the player's login efficiency so if you're cutting trees to build your base to get that you know foundation set this is definitely the one you want to uh, collect and get these are the two ones i recommend specifically just for gathering so you want to make sure you uh get these ready to go for gathering resources the great thing is look for these early to speed up the process of you being able to build your base and getting the materials you need all right, so now we're going to be talking about the best work passive skills. We're going to get started with the first one, guys, and this is going to be called Workaholic. This gives you the ability to have the sanity drop 15% slower, so that means they need less cooldown to work. Really, really good one to pick up, to, especially for those like big, heavy creatures like this one. If, if they're big, you definitely want to pick this one up because the big, chunkier, the bigger they are, the more sanity they go through. The next one, guys, that we have right here is this one called Motivated Leader. Now, Motivated Leader, what it does, it gives you 25% increase to the player speed. This is, once again, really good for those big, bulky characters. Anybody that's mining, uh, anybody that's planting, really great to give you that increment of player speed. So definitely one I highly recommend. The next one, guys, of course, is one of my favorite ones, which is Artisan. This is like the top echelon when it comes to work. It just increases the work speed by 50%. This is just really, really crazy. If you're able to get this with any of the other two or the last one that I'm going to mention, this is definitely one that you want to go ahead and pick up. Last but not least, guys, for those big creatures out there as well, and I love the presser, man. He's amazing. Is diet lever. This is going to decrease the hunger in less uh, likely by 15%. So that means less eating, more working. So you definitely want to make sure you get this one for your workers. This is definitely going to help you out quite a lot. Now, I, I there are some other ones here that give you a positive when it comes to attack and a negative to attack, and it increases the workflow. I didn't mention those in this particular order because we're going to mention them a little bit later in the video. All right, so this next one is going to be for to make OP characters. This is just going to increase your attack boost exponentially. We're going to start off with the first one, guys, which is going to be Legend. Now, Legend, you're only able to get from legendary creatures. Uh, there's not that many in the game, so you're going to want to farm this over and over because you want to pass these down to your other characters. Now, this is going to increase your attack by 20%. Defense is going to be increased by 20% and movement speed, uh, but we really want to get that attack boost. So this is definitely one you want to go ahead and pick up. All right. The next one is Ferocious. Ferocious increases your attack by 20%. So if you're not able to get Legendary, you could pick up Ferocious because this is a little bit harder to get. But this is definitely the best one because it does attack and defense. But overall, in general, Ferocious would be a second viable option for this. Next up, guys, you want to go ahead and pick up Lucky. Now, Lucky are from the Shiny Pals, so the ones that have the little glimmer and go... Now, this is going to increase your attack by 15%. Really, really good. So, you're able to pick this one up. Very hard to get as far as fighting Lucky Pals, but once you want to have it, you want to pass it down to another pal. Of course, I'll have a breeding guide video, unlike you've never seen before in Inner, because I've seen some, and they're really, really bad. Next up we got is Holigan. This is going to increase your attack speed by 15%. Really, really, really good. A little bit underrated because a lot of people skip this one because it's not, it doesn't have that gold uh, you know, thing right there. But definitely a really good one to pick up that 15%. And last but not least, we have Muscle Head. Now, Muscle Head increases your attack by 30%. This is the one that you really want to be looking out for because if you're not able to get you know, all four of them or you're not able to get at least two of them, you definitely want to get Muscle Head. 
And if you do get muscle head, your guy's not going to be working. He's just going to be out there battling in the field. So this is going to be your best one to boost that attack speed. All right, so now let's talk about movement speed. You basically want to get this on anything that has a mount. So anything that you're going to be mounting and you want to make sure you're moving quickly with, you're going to want to make sure you get this one. So the first one we're going to be talking about is Swift. It's going to increase your movement speed by 30%. And that's just going to make your, your mount go a lot faster. You want to get these on flying uh, flying mounts and, of course, you know, ones that you could ride on the floor. The next one we have is called Runner, which is going to increase your movement speed by 20%. If you pair that with Runner and you put Swift together, you're able to craft this and breed this. You're going to have the fastest mount in the game. And I will have a video going over which ones are the fastest ones and which ones should you try to roll this ones to when you're trying to get you know um, a boost of speed these are the far the two best ones there are a little bit other ones that do help you a little bit but it's not like this big gap all right for this next one guys this is going to be your best elemental attack boost now there's a bunch of these i'm going to put a list right here in, in the uh, screen real quick but basically your dragons tend to come with these ones and these are like the ones for example like lord of the underworld which is going to increase the dark attack damage so you want to definitely go ahead and get a character just for like elemental damage you want to make sure you have whatever match whatever element you're going to be using to the uh you know elemental damage type that you're going to be using with that character another one that dragons tend to have a lot is this one right here which is the lord of the sea this is going to increase the water attack damage and there's other ones like this one as well which is called divine dragon which is going to increase your dragon attack damage so the ones you have is flaming emperor that's going to do all of these are going to do 20 percent. you got flaming emperor earth emperor lord of the sea spirit emperor Lord of Lightning, Celestial Emperor, Lord of the Underworld, Ice Emperor, and Divine Dragon. Those are the ones you want to be looking out for to be able to get any sort of elemental build that you have for your character. These are the best by far passive skills, but knowing what the good passive skills is just half the battle because you're going to want to make sure you know how to breed properly. I've seen videos out there and they are giving you the wrong information. So you definitely want to check out this video that's popping up right down the screen. That's going to give you the 101 on how to breed like a pro and get the most powerful pal in your arsenal. So if you like how that sounds, click on that video and I'll see you guys on the next one.